right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get um, special effects Halloween makeup in a pinch. Pretty much all these products you're probably going to have already in your house, and if not, you're just going to need to go pick up one or two items. So let's just get started. First, the basis you're going to need is eyelash glue. This is just Salon Perfect's waterproof, uh, waterproof um, cl um, clear lash adhesive. Don't get one that says latex free. If you're allergic to latex, um, I'm not really sure how to really go around that. You could probably try one that's latex free and work with that, but we're really using the latex for our benefit. You could just probably use the latex one, but pretty much this is about making it convenient and stuff that you already have at home. So the next thing you're going to need is a pair of tweezers. This is just a really raggedy old pair that if it gets bad, I'm not afraid to throw it away. This is a like cuticle pressure that's like really thin and I can use it you can kind of see I don't know if you can it's really thin and then another kind of cuticle cuticle pusher and then um, a whole bunch of like lip products don't use anything that's like glittery or anything like that and then like a matte shadow palette so this is just um, Urban Decay Naked Basics um, and then I'm gonna use a cream product this is just the wet and wild paints whoa and then um, um, cosmetic wedges I also have beauty blenders here but you don't have to use those and then old paint brushes because I don't really plan to get rid of any makeup brushes today so um, first I would recommend priming your skin so that your skin doesn't get irritated with um, the latex or anything like that. Um, I use the e.l.f. hydrating primer. Um, and then you're also gonna need a full coverage foundation. Um, this is just, I got like a deluxe sample of the Makeup Forever HD foundation and this is not in my shade so I'm just gonna use it today because it is pretty full coverage. So I mapped out, this is just kind of a little, I used some red lip liner and I'm going to take my um, lash glue and I have a little candle holder it's a little mirror and I'm just going to squeeze some of this out onto my little tray put the lid back on be sure to put the lid back on and take a paintbrush and just kind of paint it on where you want it and I'm just gonna paint over top of this and a couple tips is try to make the center of it kind of thinner than all around because um, we're gonna try to all peel that up and if it's too thick, it's gonna be really hard to peel up. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking pieces from my tray and I scraped it off of here to kind of give the appearance that skin has been pulled up because the latex on here is starting to dry and it's just kind of making these little things and I'm just taking it on my paintbrush and then just kind of plopping it there to give the appearance as if the skin is starting to want to peel off. Kind of, um, it's kind of freaking me out because of the um, red concealer. So I'm like, wait, is that my skin being red? <laughs> so if you want to, you can just kind of keep doing that, and it's just gonna keep drying. So pretty much. The longest the 
bigger the the bigger area that you do, the worse it's gonna be because it's just gonna take longer because it's gonna have more time for drying. But this dries pretty quickly, so. Alright, so it's starting to look really, really good. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more lash glue and I have only used like not very much of this just to kind of put it out there for you just kind of keep building it up like I said I'm gonna just add a tiny bit more to the center so I have more to work with to peel back Okay, so now I am starting to peel it. It's not completely dry on the sides, but the thicker it is, the it's going to take longer to dry. And another thing I should have told you at the beginning to get is a pair of like little like brow scissors. Because you're going to want to cut some of this to move it. You're going to need a little bit more lash glue to stick stuff down that needs to be folded. So, so if you can see, this part right here is my skin. It's kind of numb, it's really weird. Maybe I'm a little bit allergic to this stuff. <laughs> a little bit maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of Cut a little bit more this way. Please be careful when you guys are doing this. Come on, like, use common sense. <laughs> I mean, don't do this when you're drunk or anything. You wouldn't have a fun night in the emergency room. I wouldn't, at least. Okay, so now I'm just putting on another one of those little strips that I peeled off to make it seem like the skin's a little bit thicker. And this doesn't have to be extremely perfect because it is going to just be covered up and look bloody. So. Now just make sure the surface isn't sticky and take your concealer or your foundation. And I just have a little um, beauty blender but it has a little notch taken out of it because I have a three-year-old like stuff like this and I'm just going to take this around this to cover up any like lines I'm not gonna go directly in like the center because I don't want to have a lot of product build up now I'm going to take my um, powder and I'm just going to powder it in that area that I just placed that foundation. And it will help kind of blend the foundation a little bit. Kind of already looking pretty disgusting. <laughs> just, just putting it out there. <laughs> okay, this is NYX um, Carbite um, lip liner, and I'm gonna take this and add like a shadow to this, the outer edge. And I recommend pencils, like, so you can sharpen them and get rid of any gunkies that have come set. I'm just going to take some sponge applicators.
this red lip liner and kind of it looks way better in person. Let me if I go up closer you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Oh, it looks like way too much. I'm just kind of taking this. Then I'm going to go and blend it out. And so far I've only been using brushes from that little paintbrush set that I've got. There's a lot of different kinds of brushes. So. Alright, so one of the last steps that I'm doing is taking this um, liquid cat soup from Wet and Wild. And this is in the shade Goth Topic. And it's kind of a darker, kind of purple, almost brown color. And it dries matte. So it's kind of what I want. And then I will go around with a lighter red because it kind of dries a bit purple, so. Also. And then you have to go around with the red again because right now I'm going around the whole thing with, um, this lip liner and then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender because I need it to kind of still look like there's still some life in it. I'm just going to go on with this little makeup sponge. One of the last steps that I'm going to do is take this um, gel yes um, melting Pot CoverGirl lipstick because it looks pretty, pretty gruesome. And I'm going to take it with this brush. I'll just kind of squeeze it out. Alright. Now, one of the last things that I'm going to do is mix the Wet n Wild with the CoverGirl to make a different kind of a color that I need to use. Because <laughs> sometimes you just got to improvise. Alright, look at my hand. My hand looks gruesome. It's gruesome! Okay, so that's what I got. Now, we're going to All right, okay. One of the last things that I'm gonna do is just blend the edges a little bit. I just don't like that pinkness. As much as it is. Okay. 